Hey everybody, Silver here with another Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary Achievement Guide. This time we're doing That Just Happened, which is complete the library on Heroic or Harder without dying. So this first part, you run up to that section you just saw me go to, but then you turn around and you grenade jump up to this pylon thingamabob and then jump over here. And what we're going to do is skip uh, the entire first couple sections by doing that, uh, which makes it super easy. Uh, I had to run up to that first part to get Guilty Spark to move um, if you don't go uh, under him at some point. He'll just hover there forever. And then he moves up to this point. So you got to cut back and go under him again. And then you can see me turn around. Usually the flood will not shoot at you at all uh, when you're cutting back for whatever reason. Not sure why that is, but hey, whatever, man. Makes it easier. And what we actually did by going, uh, doing that little shortcut is actually no one will spawn in this area as well, which is nice. So we got a free pass to that first door out of 10, which is this big ass door up here. And as will become the norm, uh, you go up to a big ass door and Guilty Spark will leave uh, for a little bit and leave you to deal with a bunch of flood. And then it'll come back willy nilly once everything's fine. Thanks Guilty Spark. Or should I call you Bungie? So you can see here I put on the bandana skull as I'm throwing an infinite amount of grenades. Uh, just, you know, to pass the time. So this part, you throw a grenade into that second hole there if you can. If not, it's not the end of the world. But and I uh, identified a shotgun that an enemy had there. And you definitely want one of those uh, early on if you could find one. So a lot of this is just going to be chucking grenades, uh, knowing where the people are coming at you from. Uh, you can see we just went over a uh, those holes right there are covered in glass to start, but once an explosion or happens or they get shot, uh, the glass goes away. It breaks, if you will, so you could definitely fall down that hole, so don't do that. Uh, you want to be aware of where those holes are at all times so you don't accidentally back into one or something. So a lot of this is uh, just clearing out the area to be safe. This little hallway, you can see there's a bunch of flood that always jump down at you from above. So even though the coast looks clear, you want to be keeping an eye on your radar uh, most of the time. If you see your radar is clear down that hall, just uh, keep watching your radar rather than looking down the hall because nobody's going to come at you from uh, around the corner on the left. They will, however, jump at you from above because they're bitches. So you can see I've triggered a wave and they're coming at me. So, And again, you could push through this you could run through this uh, if you're doing a speed run or something, but it's just safer since we're doing it on a. Uh, well, we're doing it on heroic, but we're doing it where we don't want to die, so it's just easier just to kill most things, and then uh, you don't have to worry about running through and people chasing you from behind, and then more people spawning in front of you. It's just hectic if you do it that way. So there's a health pack right there around the bend. And there's going to be three or four flood that jump up at you from that uh, crevasse, if you will. The ditch. I don't know what it is. It's a seemingly pointless gouge in the ground. What is this, Forerunners? Why did you put this here? You can see there's overshield right there. I guess that's a doorway, because uh, there's other areas like that in the game where you could continue going past that where that overshield was. Uh, I throw a grenade over there, because there's always a handful of enemies in that section. Uh, you can see I'm kind of picking and choosing where I run past people and where I don't. That's a point where I just run by them. But you still want to be aware that they're back there in case they're, uh, they come running at you. So keep an eye on that radar. 
they're just carrier forms too so just make sure when you kill them that usually you'll kill like one at a time and the explosion from that carrier form will propel the other carrier forms across the room somewhere so you don't want it to land near you and then explode behind you or something because obviously you'll take damage at the very least and you might die so you just want to be aware of where those uh, carrier forms are flying off to it's not Neverland. That'd be fine. They could go explode and kill the Lost Boys all they want, but, you know, they're not gonna. And also, if you throw a grenade at carrier forms, they won't die from the explosion of the grenade, which is odd. Around this corner, there's carrier forms, so watch out for them right there. So I just jump over and kind of walk over them. Um... And then I throw some grenades preemptively because there's going to be a handful of people over there, which you can see. And we have reached the first elevator. we got to get to the fourth floor, so we're going up to the second floor right now. And you can see this glitchy uh, elevator, which I discovered at some point back in my youthful Halo days where the grenades just fall through this elevator for some reason. All right, floor one complete. Three to go. And again, going back to what I was saying earlier with the grenades, if you throw a grenade at a carrier form, it won't die from that explosion. It will uh, continue to live until it lands and then it explodes. So you don't want to throw a grenade and then uh, have it uh, land near you. So at this point, I just hang right here, basically, and I just chuck a bunch of grenades nonstop until uh, Guilty Spark opens the door for us. Because there's no reason not to. And they'll be hard-pressed to uh, get by these grenades. I do recommend uh, throwing the grenade a little more to the left so it blasts their corpses away from you. You can see I'm not doing that uh, to start, which is silly of me. Uh, the reason for that is if they reanimate, they'll reanimate... Uh, to the right of you where you're looking and all the other enemies are coming from. And, but if they reanimate to the left of you, then you're kind of screwed because uh, they'll come at you from the left, which you're not expecting. So there's health right here, and the last uh, ditch thing we went over uh, had two health packs in it. Uh, I did not pick them up, though. But if you need it, it's there. So at that point, we're supposed to go down that area where I was shooting, but you could just totally skip that whole section by just jumping over these little whatever the hell they're called. Just do a little crouch jump. Crouch jumping is jumping and then uh, holding crouch so it lifts up your legs. So you get a little more clearance. So it effectively makes you jump a little bit higher. Not perceivably, but it's not like your head and camera are going higher, but... You're just a shorter person, so. You can see those bitches down there. They don't even know. They don't know me. So, right here, you could just speed things up a little bit by grenade jumping onto this. This door gets stuck for a little bit, and uh, Guilty Spark works as stupid as magic. But, we don't got time for that. I mean, we do. It's not a speed run, but if you want to preserve your overshield. Uh, if you don't have overshield on at all, you might, you'll probably lose some health. So if you're worried about that, uh, just go ahead and wait for him to open the door. The only things that come at you uh, while that door is waiting to be opened by Guilty Spark for you is infection forms will come at you. These little jalapeno poppers, which is fine. They're not going to kill you. Probably. Probably not going to kill you. The only time they become a real issue is when you have no shield. Then they... Like, each one takes down one health bar, which is an issue. A strategy I use sometimes is just to stand there and let the infection forms actually eat away at my shield if there's nobody else in the area. And that way I get a checkpoint because there's no more enemies in the area. Uh, this cavern you don't want to run out, or this tunnel you don't want to run out of right away. You want to kill off that uh, guy who jumps down in front of you and then uh, back up because... There's a lot of people with 
guns and shit. Emphasis on shit, because uh, the flood are pretty disgusting. And then, uh, you know, throw a few grenades, take out the people who come down. I throw a grenade up here, which is unnecessary, but they're just because there's a ton of infection forms right above you right there. So it kind of gives you a checkpoint sometimes. Which we can't use a checkpoint right now, because we have to do this without dying. But, And you can see I'm using my radar, and I can tell that stupid asshole was jumping at me from above. So this little stretch, there's two rocket flood down at the end of the hallway. You can see he just tried to shoot me, but accidentally shot a carrier form. That'll fortunately happen fairly often, where he'll kill his own person and kill himself. I almost die here because I'm being a freaking idiot. But you want to take out your pistol and make sure those uh, combat forms with rocket launchers are dead. There's one right there still. I have not taken out. Thankfully, I was far away enough that he did not want to uh, shoot me with that. That's one of the uh, not toughest points, but one of the most random points because one just one rocket could take you out and then you got to start over so so a little pistol work these guys are coming at us from afar the uh, carrier forms will blow up uh, with one to two or not one to two two to three uh, pistol shots and the uh, the uh, one shotgun shot obviously so throw some grenades. Well, you don't need to. They actually didn't spawn uh, quickly there. I don't think they ever spawned that quickly in that section, actually. So you're pretty safe there. Definitely the first uh, level to the second level elevator, you want to throw two or three grenades. Because there's a whole mob of combat forms that come at you. Level three. Communications. Alright. We're halfway there. So there's not much to start here. There's there's people in the distance. You could start working on them with the pistol from far away. And then... Well, I guess we got to kill a couple more people. But then you head down here. You got to circumvent the big-ass door. And, uh, you know, just switch to your pistol when you're, uh, while you're walking down there. You might as well be killing some people. And then for the infection forms, just, just throw grenades. They'll mop them all up. Much easier than actually trying to individually shoot all of them. I threw that there in case there was somebody hanging out on the other side. I think there was a carrier form. Possibly. So here we go. We got some sentinels helping us out, which is very nice of them. You could push past here, uh, just shoot a couple people on the way. And we are almost, well, no, we're not. I was going to say we're near another elevator, but we're not. It's wishful thinking. Forgot about those two. Kill those two, and then do what I did uh, earlier, which is just throw grenades constantly. Uh, at this one area. And that way... Oh, he reanimated. See, that's what I was talking about earlier. You want to make try to make sure all the corpses are to the right of you so you don't have to deal with anybody coming at you from the left. But we couldn't help that because two spawned to, to our left, so... So this door should be opening right about now. Or not. Going through this, uh, these levels, doing these videos. There we go. And you want to throw a couple of grenades there because there's a rocket flood guy right around that corner. So you want to make sure he's dead. He's the only real threat. Because you're just going to, instead of going down there like you normally would, you'll just hop around this way like we did on the lower level. 
and just keep this is the long way um, but it's the safer way slightly I think uh, feel free to go to the left if you want but and you can see behind me is the terminal you saw a flashing little thing a second ago if you haven't gotten that one also uh, check out my other videos for all the terminal locations if you don't have those yet just plug myself right there that's cool I guess I could plug myself uh, more often during these lags of action so this door is uh, open to start so we just walk right through just waltz on in and there's some health pack right here just some health pack though not a full one just kidding there's no such thing as a not full health pack so you can see I take out the pistol whenever there's a uh, combat form on top there because it's easier to take them out there instead of having them take pot shots at me while I'm running up to them. Oh, he's back up. And you can see I uh, sometimes I'll shoot if I if it's not a hectic time with a ton of people coming at me. I'll shoot uh, the combat forms like one time extra after they're on the ground. You could actually shoot off their arms while they're laying on the ground. So if they do come back to life, then they're harmless because they can't hit you with any arms. They're called a pet flood at that point because they just follow you around and don't do anything. All right. So this section is normally one of the hardest little areas in the uh, the whole level, but we're gonna make it super califragilistic, expialidociously easy for you. You just go over here, and you just stand here until the door opens, and the flood uh, don't know you're here. They just they come out, but they don't. Uh, pursue you at all they just kind of stand there because they don't know where you are it's great usually it takes about a minute minute and a half to uh you know do this before he opens the door it's gonna make this commentary painful because nothing's happening you guys excited for the master chief collection it comes out in less than a week i'm dating this video I'm making this topical so when people watch it 10 years from now, they'll be like, what the hell this guy's talking about? I played that back 10 years ago. Stupid ass. So you can see, it's not that exciting, but it's very effective. Nobody's come at me yet. And you don't need to kill anybody to make the door open. The door's on a timer in this section, so. No need to do anything. Maybe I should have had a little time lapse there. And just cut out this whole thing. But I guess this shows you that uh, I'm not a liar and that it actually does work. So it's open now, and we're going to head over there. Don't head over there prematurely. That actually, those flood just came into the uh, forefront there. Just came out in front of me. That's never happened to me before. So, I imagine it is extremely rare. Oh, forgot about all those bitches. Throw some nades. Uh, but yeah, that's extremely uh, uncommon for that to happen. They actually weren't coming out in response to me being there. They were actually uh, starting to engage the sentinels that were in the next section. Um, but you could see there were only like three of them right there. So. Just always be on alert, even though you're doing that little skippy skip thing. And again, uh, before going into this elevator, the final elevator, there's a uh, there's only like two or three carrier forms blocking your path, so you don't have to throw any preemptive grenades like you did on the first floor. And some more carrier forms to greet us. Thanks. I feel very welcome here. I'm extremely popular. Everybody's running up to me.
So for this door, you can see it's partially open, so you can grenade jump through there if you wanted to. For speed runs, you could do that, um, but we're not doing a speed run right now, so it's not necessary. I was thinking about doing it, but I'm going to turn around and go through the tunnel. These tunnels are very easy to go through if you keep them under control. Just throw nades for infection forms again and uh, pistol your way through the far away enemies. Be sure to uh, be conscious of when you're taking a turn in these though because there could be just a carry form standing right next to you as you take the corner. Which is an issue especially if there's grenades on the ground that some enemies dropped. Uh, if the carrier form blows up, he'll take your shield away and a good amount of your health, and then the grenade uh, explosion, chain reaction, will definitely take you out for good. So. so I tried to do this trick. I didn't think it would work, and it ends up not working. Um, I just wanted to... I pretty much knew it wasn't going to work, but just wanted to cover my bases. So you just gotta go and kill some people. I think this door is on a combination of a timer and a uh, kill, whatever. Or no, I lied. I think you just need to uh, go under Guilty Spark like you did right in the beginning of the level to make him go forward. And he wasn't there at the point where I was there, so... So nobody here. Oh, there's people behind me now. Just carrier forms, though. And this is the next, or, well, it is the next, but it's also the last big door you have to go through. So there's a little bit of a uh, big battle here. This door will partially open, and there will be a couple flood forms that jump through it. Like freaking bosses. So you want to make sure you are aware of that and take those people out. So the door is now open. You got plenty of room to just back up and go over here. There's not going to be any flood at all that spawn behind you uh, when you're right here. So you have a nice choke point where you can just throw grenades and shotgun everybody. Again, make sure the carrier forms are not uh, exploding and setting off grenades in a chain reaction. Because uh, in a section like this, a lot of corpses are building up, so there might be a lot of grenades sitting there waiting to go off. And it would be pretty shitty if your run got stopped right here at the end. You can see that uh, beam of light in the distance is where we need to be. Usually there's a... Uh, there's one flood right there. He's always there. There's usually another one on the other side. There he is. He just showed up. You're late to the party, bro. So again, just back up whenever you're starting to get overwhelmed. You could actually uh, sprint. Well, you can't sprint in this game. This isn't Reach or 4. But you could uh, just run straight at uh, the beam of light. But we're going to take a safer route. You can die doing that. There's going to be a lot of uh, people who spawn between here and that beam of light over there where you need to go. So I just, when I'm being safe and cautious. I just go this way. And again, nobody's going to spawn uh, behind me at this point. So it's just a safe shot right at the beam. We're going to come around back. Doodle do skibbity bop bop dee going to get me an achievement. So I guess this is a good point to plug my channel uh i would love it if you guys would stick around and subscribe i got a lot of achievements coming out um i'll have a lot coming out for the master chief collection and if you have any special requests just drop me a line and i'll definitely put it out for you the skull one of the skulls is actually uh right behind me where i am now so if you don't have that one yet that's where it is 
And that's it. Click like and subscribe if this was helpful. That would be awesome of you. And I would love you forever. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later.